Slow down. Don't try to do the theory practice balance doing everything. Pick one or two things and do them well. You will never <laughs> find a balance if you say, I've got to address all of these issues. I've got to address equality and gender and race and religion and all of these things all in this class. Um, again, this comes from talking to the students, seeing what they want to accomplish, slow down and accomplish something well, as opposed to trying to do too much and being coming overwhelmed and then students leave the class um, overwhelmed and defeated as opposed to empowered by the one thing that you did really well and they go I can actually I could translate this into and they take off so really positively in the moment reinforcing the actions and statements and engagement that are happening in the room and thereby actually reinforcing while class is happening the direction you'd like to go with the openness and, and engagement is you have to be comfortable with discomfort which is an oxymoron and it's exhausting it's exhausting and the most rewarding stuff that you'll do because it's you make meaning the most rewarding part of this work Wow. If you do it long enough, you realize that all of it is rewarding because I have students from 10 years ago contacting me saying, I'm doing this exercise with my students, or I'm the education director for the Tacoma Theater, and we're doing the stuff that, that we learned in your theater ed classes with this um, Theater for Social Change high school group that I formed. You know, it's, it is long-term reward. The best teacher reward for, for me, um, and what I've heard from colleagues and peers, is that moment when you do that thing in the class that everybody went, I don't know about that, and you finish it, and they go, whoa and you just watch their horizon like light up and you see it in their face and that that's the stuff that makes me cry like right now in a good way um, because it's so hard and it's exhausting but you actually change people's lives including your own and that's the thing it's like I I can't be stagnant doing this. I learn more from my students, I think, than they ever would learn from me, and then I take it to the next class, and I take it to the next class, and I take it out into the community, and that's hard, but the reward is almost daily, I get something from a present or a past student saying, oh, I tried this thing out, and here's what happened, and I didn't expect that. And that's, that's rewarding. Mm -hmm.